Heat bending is one of those things that some people feel is magic. So what I'll do here is I'm going to try and demonstrate how long it takes and what you need to do to make the wood actually bend. You can see I've got the bow already strapped up. This is the limb that's relatively straight. This one's deflexed. So what I've gone, gone and done, I've got it strapped up like that. I'm going to heat that, um, that far limb. I'm going to tie a weight on the end and heat it and hopefully we'll actually see it bend down. I use a cheap hot air gun. You can see it's got two settings. 1500 watts is what I'll have it on. Which should get it nice and warm. I've clamped up a couple of side cheeks just at one point so that the limb can still move. I'll blast a load of heat along here. The side cheeks will channel the heat along giving a nice even heat along the limb and hopefully it will start moving. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hang a brick off this end, we'll have a look at the measurement and then as it's heated hopefully we'll see it slowly start moving. Here's my brick on a string and we'll put it on there and you'll watch it will pull the limb down a little bit anyway. There we go, so I'll start heating that up with the hot air gun. I've got a fishtail nozzle on the end of the hot air gun. That helps spread the heat, keeps it going along the, um, along the side cheeks. I've got my watch there so we can keep an eye on the time. Uh, uh, let's see what happens and how long it takes to start moving. already creeping down because of the, the leverage. I'm heating it right down this end and the weights at this end. Uh, I haven't got the rule on there because I'm running out of hands but she's, she's getting down already and we've barely been going a couple of minutes. I don't know if you can see that moving, but I think I can. Whoa! There she blows. There, you can see it's pulled right down already. And that's only been going, what, about not even 10 minutes of heating. If I let that cool, that will spring back a bit, but that's fine because I also want to put a little bit of recurve near the tip here. So what I'll probably do is, is jig it up with a bit more support in the middle so I can pull the tip down a bit further and give it another go. But um, that's really just a demonstration and something to stop me getting bored. <laughs> there you go.